Uh, okay. All right. So what we have uh, is we have this equation, 3a minus 1 plus 4b plus 5 times i um, equals 4 minus 7i, right? And they want us to put it in, or they want us to find the values of a and b that are going to make this true, correct? In your book and in your outline, what we talked about is complex numbers in standard form, which is a plus bi. Um, let's see, I'll write over here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. All right here. A plus bi is equal to another complex number only if a is equal to c and b is equal to that's supposed to be a b is equal to d. Because remember, a this is my real part and b is my imaginary. So when you have two complex numbers in uh, standard form, they are equal to each other when the reals equal the reals and the imaginary equals the imaginary. Does that make sense? Okay. So what we have here is we have a problem. So 4 is our real and negative 7 is our imaginary. So what is our real over in here? No idea. Our real in here is you could probably write this as like this. You could say that this whole thing is our real number. It's not just your a, but it's everything that's in that bracket. Because you, if you kind of look at this, this is like a plus b i. So you can pretend this is like your a, that would be like your b, and that's multiplied by i, equals 4 minus 7i. Right? Where 4 is your real, so this. So therefore, you have two equations. You can say 3a minus 1 is e has to equal 4. And you can say 4b plus 5 has to equal a negative 7. Because a has to equal c and b has to equal d. Does that make sense? So now here, we just have two linear equations that we have to solve for. So I just say plus 1. Four b equals a negative twelve. Divide by four. B equals a negative three. So therefore, the values for a and b have to be a five thirds and a negative three for these two complex numbers to equal each other. 